Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1065. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 164 to 165, click on the link below the video. In this video, we have some transactional data, dates and sales numbers. And we need to do month over month calculations. So in each one of these cells, I need to calculate the monthly total and then the difference between each month. Now, we could do this a bunch of different ways, but we want to just simply have the month name up above. So this should be January, this should be February, this should be March, etc. And then down here I have a single formula and then our percentage changes below. Now, I just went ahead and typed this date in and I know from this data set there's only five months of data. So I want to get a string of first of the months based on whatever date I put here. Because I could click and drag this with my mouse and then point to the smart tag and say fill months and that would instantly fill the first of each month. However, I want to have it automated. Whatever first of the month I put here, I want the next four months to show up. So I'm going to use the E date function. E date, you simply give it a start date and tell it how many months in the future or the past or zero for the current month, which would be ridiculous here. But our next date function, zero, won't be ridiculous. Because I want the first of the following month, I'm going to put a one, which says, hey, next month. Notice that's a relative cell reference. Close parentheses, control enter. So when I drag it over, this is always looking one cell to my left. So there we have the first of the month. Now we do need a serial number date here because our sum ifs formula is going to use that as one of the starting points. They're going to be, there's going to be the begin of the month and the end of the month. But I want these labels to show up as words, J-A-N. FEB. So I'm going to highlight this and use custom number formatting. Control 1. And down under date, I don't see what I want, so I'm going to go down to custom. And under custom, I'm going to highlight. And watch this. If I delete it, it's great. You can see the sample emerge as you type your custom number formatting. Notice that's a serial number, the number of days since December 31st, 1899. So I'm going to type M. That gives me 1. M, 2 M's give you lead 0, and 3 M's give you an abbreviation, 3 letters. If you type 4, it'll give me the whole month. That's not what I want, so I have backspace. Now, even though it shows January in the cell, that serial number is there, and we can make calculations upon that. All right, now let's do some. Actually, before we do that, I'm going to show you how end of the month works, and then we're going to use it up in the cell here. So equals end of month. Hey, it's similar to E date. You give it a start date and then tell it zero months means the end of this month. One, so zero would be the end of this month. One would be the end of next month. And minus one would be the end of last month. But we want zero. So if I control enter, the great thing about end of month and all the date calculations and functions is it knows leap year. All right, because February in 2012, that has 29 days. So we're not going to use this because our template can't have this extra seller. We're going to use it inside of our sum ifs. All right, so we have to add from the sales column given two conditions. For each month, I need greater than or equal to the first of the month and less than or equal to the end of the month. So sum ifs. And the sum range, click in the top cell, Control Shift down arrow, F4 to lock it. Comma, the criteria range, we're going to enter the date twice, Control Shift down arrow, F4, comma. The first criteria, well, we have to put our comparative operator in double quotes. So in double quotes, greater than or equal to, end double quote, and join it using the join symbol, Shift 7, with our relative cell reference, which is, remember, not pointing to JAN. It's pointing to 1, 1, 2012. Now, a couple videos ago, someone posted a comment and says, hey, why is it sometimes that you have to put comparative operator in double quotes and then join it to something? Whereas in a formula like some product, you don't. You place the comparative operator directly against the array operation. It just happens to be that sum ifs, count if, sum if, count if, and all those similar functions if you're going to join a comparative operator to some cell, then you have to put it in double quotes and join it. 
most direct array operations, you wouldn't do this. You'd just put the, the comparative operator directly next to the cell. But sum ifs and count ifs and the like all require that. All right, so we have our first criteria greater than or equal to the first of the month. We're going to repeat the date column, control shift down arrow, F4 comma. And now we need in double quotes less than or equal to the end of the month. Now if I simply had was able to have this in the cells, I would click there, but no problem. If I can't have it there, I just put it up here. So I say end of the month, boom, there's the 1-1-2012, zero to say the end of this current month, close parentheses, and that will work. Close parentheses, control enter, and then copy it over. I'm going to click in the last cell and hit F2. That is a groovy formula. That's for calculating the monthly total given just the first of the month. Now, if we wanted uh, month over month calculations, we want the percentage change from January the begin to the end February. So our formula is equals end divided by begin minus 1. Control Enter. Whoa, that's a bummer. We went down 9%. Ooh, then we went up. Then we went down, then we went up. Well, it's a pretty uh, up and down series of months here. Now, in the last video, 162, we did rate, which is just, like, just n divided by begin. But certainly, the rate is 1 plus whatever the percentage change is. And notice, when we've gone down, the rate is going to be less than 1. When we've gone up, the rate will be greater than 1. All right, uh, we'll see you next video.